Hello. Oh, welcome to the dress collection of, of me. Enya. <laughs> Not me, because I don't own any dresses. No. No. Sad. I'm okay with it. <laughs> don't even own a kilt. I do. You do? Not a dress, it's a kilt. <laughs> um, <laughs> we digress. Mm. Welcome to installment three of Enya's dresses. Installment three of part two. Season two. Season two. <laughs> Season Enya. two of dresses. Yes. <laughs> so we did um, a three part two years ago of Enya's dress shop dress collections. And we're now doing what has turned into a three part of the additions to Enya's dress shop collection in the last two years. So if you've watched the other ones, good job you. Good job. You must like dresses like Enya does. I like dresses. <laughs> if you haven't seen the other ones, there's another five videos that you can also go check out if you like this one. Have fun. Um, but for now, let's get this third one done because it's very hot. Um, <sighs> and it's time to see some dresses, so let's go and look at them. Hooray! Dress number one. <laughs> the newest one of the entire collection. Ooh. I got this a few weeks ago. Yeah. Because, oh, I was like, oh, a Coco. I like Coco. That's cool. And how fun would it be to have a dress inspired by Coco if you went somewhere that was also inspired by Coco? Gee, and yeah, I wish we had something planned coming up that has a Coco event on it. I would love that too. Maybe well. two Coco events. That would be just so And then great. you could I wear this dress. That. Oh yeah, maybe I could wear this dress. <laughs> so this is the Coco inspired dress. Um, it has got little kind of, I don't know if they're like little flags, but it's the... Yeah, they're the, like bunting or something, whatever yes. it's called. I was but... like, I couldn't think of the word. Um, but it's got Coco, the actual yeah. name, but then it has um, all references to the entire film. So you have the um, Achalibre, you've got Ernesto de la Cruz, you've got Dante, Dante. you've got the Sugar Skull, you've got oh, Miguel. Miguel, you've got <laughs> Hector. It's really cool. Yeah, that's it's a cool dress. Really, really cool. It has some unfunctional pockets, but uh, yeah, the pockets are up here, which is very strange. It's it's weird because there is a seam here, like at your waist, but then the skirt doesn't start until down here, so it looks a bit funny. But I think they did that so then that way you could still have pockets because you can't really have pockets in here. But you can't really put anything in those pockets. No, you can't, or else you just be a bit weird. <laughs> but. Hey-ho. I still like it. I think it's cool. And then it has Seize Your Moment on the back. Yeah. Which I really like the um, embroider on that. It's very colourful. Very in keeping with the Coco theme. But this is the first one of video number three. <laughs> this is a definite favourite of mine. Yeah, it's, it's a nice one. It's the same as the Dumbo dress, but this is tighter than the Dumbo dress. Um, so it's like fills out quite nicely. It is inspired by the style icon that is Minnie Mouse with the polka dots and the red and black wave, but I think it's really nice. And I think this one has... It does. It has a Minnie Mouse signature on the back in some... Embroidery. Love and kisses, Minnie Mouse. She's so cute and adorable. <laughs> but yeah, so that's this one. It's good. It's a good dress. I like this dress. We're back with another Minnie Mouse inspired dress, uh, but this is just the black and white polka dots. It's, it's very pretty. Oh. Yeah, it's got like a stripe down this this bit yeah, here, well, and then it's like, like smaller, almost high low little. Yeah, moment. but it's really quite nice. And again, I got this at a major bargain, and this is a size too big. But I think the only place where it's a bit too big is on here. So maybe if I put on a good bra. <laughs> 
it might be alright. But it's really lovely. Yeah. And again, it's got Minnie Mouse just on Just Minnie Mouse signature. No hugging kisses this time. No, but just no. Minnie Mouse. Just Minnie Mouse. But yeah, no, it's a really lovely dress. Wouldn't really know that it's Disney inspired, so you could just kind of wear it wherever. But it's lovely. I really, really like it. Especially if I had a good red lip on, I think. Yeah. Because there's more mini vibes. <laughs> We've got a Mary Poppins inspired one now. This is um, inspired by the Jolly Holiday scene from the film. So it's got all the penguins on it. And it's got, um, I thought I had, where is it? It's there the it is, carousel. there's the carousel yeah, horse. The penguins. Yep, and then her, and her umbrella. umbrella. But it's very beautiful. Um, this is well loved, not by me, but <laughs> I bought it from. Um, but it kind of puts me, it makes me a little bit happier because I'm like, if it's well loved, then when it comes time for me to wash it, it hopefully shouldn't bleed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which puts me in a good way. But I love the style of this one. Again, this is kind of like the Sally dress and the Oogie Boogie one with this kind of neckline. But it's just really pretty, comfortable. Yeah, it's very nice. I don't know. I don't think there's a Mary on this anywhere. No. No. No, just her initials on the bottom. Yeah. What a shame, because she's got a great signature. <laughs> well, I didn't realise I was an Epcot, because here's Spaceship Earth. I need twinkly lights. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dress. It is a bit big on me up top. Yeah. Um, this was a, bought it in a size medium, no way it was going to fit me, and I did like a three-way trade with people from the US. Um, but I kind of really needed the large but someone else did that, so the only way I could do it was to get an extra large. So it's a bit big, kind of, up here. But otherwise, I love this dress. No, it's fun. <laughs> um, it's good material. It's it's just, it's awesome. The pattern is fantastic. It's got kind of got, like, a bit of metallic shine to it, which is fun. But I, I just love it, so we'll sort out this bit. Again, when we have time for all these things. But otherwise, great dress, love it quite the right season for this but it will be in a couple of months um this is my beautiful winter wonderland uh disney dress that i just love the print of this it's got all of mickey and the gang just having a great time out in the snow yeah. you even got bambi and thumper on it yeah chip and dale mickey and minnie and uh pluto and goofy like oh, Donald's on there. Yeah, Donald and Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah, there they are. I was like, they're on there somewhere. I know they are. In the castle. Yeah. It is a beautiful dress. I'm not going to lie. This isn't the most comfortable to wear. The armholes on this are so tight. Um, I'd nearly be tempted to take it to a seamstress and just have them cut out more. Yeah, open to create up a little bigger bit. armhole and open it up a bit more. Otherwise, it is very beautiful. I don't know how I wore this dress before because definitely smaller than what I was. Um, I probably lost complete circulation. <laughs> <laughs> From the way it felt fine, because it's just like, oh, I just can't feel my arms anymore. Um, yeah, so that's the only thing about this dress is that the armholes are very constrictive. Yeah. Uh, but otherwise, it is beautiful, and especially for that time of year. And yeah, I like that I have a Christmas dress as well. This is the beautiful Epcot Flower and Garden dress. Um, that we've got Minnie Mouse who is out having a jaunt on her bike and picking up some flowers and just having a great little time. Dancing with her basket, wearing and, uh, a hat. And then you can see there is a very tiny spaceship Earth. Oh yeah. Down in the pink. But <laughs> this is a really beautiful dress. I wore this for Paolo dinner. You did. It's got like a little kind of cowl on the back. Yeah. There, which is really nice. And one thing that I haven't commented in regards to any of the others, and Bob pointed out to me, it's very good at twirling. It's a twirly dress. It's a twirly dress. <laughs> so you can get really nice movement through it and just feel fabulous basically with it. <laughs> well, if you want to feel like a pretty princess, this is the dress for it. Um, this is kind of parks inspired. I would have said that it was Disneyland because you've got yeah, the small world. Small world for Disneyland, but then the castle is not quite Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, I think it. Yeah. So I don't know, but. Sword in the Stone. It's Alice beautiful. Wonderland, Carousel. Yeah. Pirates. I love it. It's 
this velvety satiny kind of fabric it's got bows on it everywhere it's got this really nice neckline that just makes me think of princess aurora <laughs> and i mean you can't help but feel like a princess in this dress it's just it's it's just so girly and just everything you want it to be to be a princess so yeah i need to wear this <laughs> And then you got the back, it's got a corset oh, yes. bit. Oh yes, I forgot. So, like Rapunzel. Like Rapunzel. Yeah. I thought it was a Rapunzel dress. Um, and then you put it on and I was like, oh no, it's not. <laughs> but it is very rapunzel -y. But Yes, I need an occasion to wear this because this is gorgeous. We are continuing on with the princess motif. <laughs> kind of these last three are all very princessy. Um, they also all have a layer of kind of tool and netting under them so it does help to give them extra volume the last one has the most of them <laughs> but this is cinderella inspired and it's beautiful it's hard to see the cinderella bits though it's not super no it's obvious. not super noticeable so you've got, you've got the little shoes. pumpkin in the shoes on the top here yeah and then you have and this side down here yeah there's um the shoes and the pumpkin. The same again. thing. Yeah, but it's it's the carriage. The carriage, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a carriage up here as well. It's got wheels. Yeah, it's got wheels. But it's not. I thought there might be like mice in here. No. But there's it's just no flowers. Mice. It's just flowers. It's just I would have I would have made it mice. <laughs> well, then you should design the dresses oh, next no. time. Oh <laughs> no. Well, maybe that's not a job for me, but. It's just a beautiful, beautiful. It's just dress. pretty. Yes. It's so pretty. Um. I have to wear this on the wish. I think so. Quite black, I just have to bring this and wear this on the wish because it's just so gorgeous. Yeah. And the shit that it is. It makes sense. It makes sense. And you can yeah. get a picture taken next to the statue. That's it. Like, oh, Cinderella too, but I don't have mice. As Bob's <laughs> pointed out. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, it's a very pretty princess dress. And then one address to finish on. We come to the end, finally. I told you this is going to be very poofy. Um, this is the Disneyland uh, themed white castle dress. I don't know. It's all kind of quilted fabric here with like gold threading. It's got um, the Disneyland D on it. You could also get a Walt Disney World one. The only difference is, is that there is a a uh, quote on the back of the dress and each one is slightly different where magic lives yeah now, i can't remember what the walt disney world one was but yeah so this is a very pretty dress <laughs> um and bob wanted me to do this one last because you wanted me to talk about the fact that this will definitely be coming on the wedding cruise <laughs> Well, you bought us. it before yep. I proposed and yep. said, this is a dress I'm going to wear after my wedding. Yep. <laughs> so, I mean, it was kind I've of... I've only just been able to fit into it. <laughs> so it was kind of a done deal That's that um, you might say yes on the wedding, on the proposal, but still. Just a little bit. <laughs> but yes, this is the last one. This is so big. Look at all this. There's like so much netting, as you can see. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the last one. This is it. So, yeah. Thank you to Bob for putting up with all this. I know, this. right? <laughs> and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If not, I got to play dress up. So, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, and as only said, we've come to the end, so. We're done, they get to go back in the closet now. Yeah, for another <laughs> two years before we then need another three video installments of all the dresses you bought. But I think you have almost all of them now. So. I have a lot of them. So in two years time we'll do... Um, An updated one. Three, three se video, yeah. season three, but we'll do Crowned Athletic Gear or something. Oh yeah, that's, your new that's sad, that's becoming a new thing. <laughs> but uh, if um, you might stick with us for all six episodes. Good job. Good job, thanks. Which for... is your favorite dress? <laughs> thanks for sticking with us to the bitter end. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what's your favourite dress? Exactly. We know that Look So Ball is your one. There's a lot of them that you look very pretty in. Oh. Anyway, let's end of that and we will that see thing. you next week for something else. We don't know what yet, but it'll something. be something. <laughs>
All right. Bye. 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 Dresses. Bye. Bye.